park reminds me of that quintessential old community area where everybody from the town gathers to go have fun together and ski with their family. Our kids learned to ski at Monarch and now they are fully independent up there. Our daughter races on the Monarch race team on Fridays. Our son has raced on the Monarch race team for the last three years as well. Now he enjoys riding the ski bus up on Fridays with his friends and they're comfortable. So if something would happen, they're gonna see a familiar face up there if I'm not the one with them. The thing about Monarch, it's such an amazing but intimate place. And that's the place where the young families meet up and it's where everybody plays together. I didn't have that growing up. I, my parents didn't ski, but I did. And so here it's a totally different feeling. I feel like everybody's involved doing it together. I go up there every Friday. I'm with the ski team. It's just a lot of fun. Sometimes I go up Saturday and Sunday with my dad. It's just, it's great. It's an addition to the community. It's not something separate. It's not its own entity with a different personality. I grew up in Florida on the beach. First time I ever went skiing, I was seven years old and it was at Monarch. My dad decided we should learn how to ski and it was freezing cold and so much fun that I think we probably came out from the time I was six until I went to college out here. We probably missed one year. Now I just think it's pretty special seeing kids go from the snow plowing to now they're hiking up Mirkwood and skiing on their own or they're riding up the Friday bus together and hanging out as buddies. It's where the birthday parties are. It's, um, I don't know, it's special. You know, I've worked at and skied at bigger mountains where sort of that local ownership, what's the word? Attitude. Attitude. There just isn't that. It's just kind of, hey, how's it going? Yeah, great, come on out and ski. And I think part of that is because it's not busy. And what I think Monarch has going for it is that they kind of get that. They don't need to be huge, that there's a market in that and that they can exist and do well by just being a small mountain that caters to people that like that instead of needing to put in high-speed quads and you know, mid-mountain restaurants, and I'm sure some of that stuff will come. It's everything those other resorts aren't. You know, the good, there's good and bad to that. The bad part is Monarch doesn't have very long runs like Vail or Copper, but the good side of that is they don't have big crowds like Vail and Copper. What Monarch has is a, just a feel. You know, it's, it's, for lack of a better word, it's old school. If I could describe the place where I grew up skiing versus the town nearby, they were two very different communities. It used to be an affordable place where we could all go and ski, the locals, and it's just not that anymore. It's now become pretty out of touch for most families there, and I don't see that here at all. Monarch and Salida are you know, almost at one. I think if they were allowed to sell condos and have a resort up there, it would insulate them from town. And the fact that a lot of people in town who work a summer job here, whether it's on the river or in the restaurants, they look forward to their jobs up at Monarch in the wintertime. They all live in town. If the employees all lived at the mountain, it would be a much different experience. But every time you go out, you see your lefty, you see the person who works in the restaurant, you see the owners of the ski area. You go up to Monarch, you see the lifties, you see them back in town at Safeway. I think Monarch is one of the things that brings people here. And what I do for a living, I talk to people all the time, and they want to live the Salida lifestyle. You know, they don't want to be an Aspen or Vail, they don't want to be showy, they don't want to hobnob with other like-minded people of wealth, or however you want to interpret that. It's a community-based ski area where people come not only from Salida, but from all over the place. And you get to ride the lifts with people from New Mexico, from Oklahoma, from wherever. You know, I've used the term the Salida millionaire. There are, you know, probably a handful of people I could think of in town that I know probably have a great deal of money. Yep, they come to Salida because they don't want to live that lifestyle. They just want a simple lifestyle. They want friendly people. They want a small town. 
for. There's no glitz, there's no glamour about it. It's, it's pretty basic. It's definitely your hometown mountain. I, I'm not a big skier, but my brother is, and he leaves the house with my dad, and I leave the house to myself, which I have to thank Monarch for that. And it's just great to meet people, but you drive up to the mountain 20 minutes from downtown, you pull up in the parking lot, a lot of times if you get there for the first chair, uh, you're 50 feet from the front door. When we came back here, we had two little boys. It's the classic. Pull up to the parking lot, schlep all this gear up, and they're clomping up in their boots, and at the end of the day, they're falling down in the snow, and you're carrying, you know, six pairs of skis and all the poles, and the fact that you're just walking from that little hill to your car 50 feet away is magical. It's not glitzy. It's so personal. There's never a day that you're skiing Monarch where you don't bump into somebody you know from the community. Is it the community and it just happens to be located next to Monarch or is it Monarch that helps? So it's kind of hard splitting the two and I think that's something special about this place is they are so closely tied together. I just, I really enjoy skiing there because it's, a, it's about skiing. You just spend more time on the snow and that's, that's what I want. It doesn't have the great long runs that you get on a lot of mountains, but here you get so much vertical per hour because you just ski right from the top of the mountain right into the chair and back up again. I've never felt the need for high-speed chair lifts. I've never felt the need for anything. What, what you give up in the quantity, you get in the quality. And, and that's what you're looking for, is the genuine experience of sitting on a two-person chair, chugging up the hill in a snowstorm. It's fun to go up to those big mountains. Like, I haven't been to too many, but when you just know your mountain, it's just so much more fun. I will trade short and sweet for uh, steep and long with no attitude, none of that. For a family of four to be able to um, afford their ski passes for the year is great. No man-made snow, no big glitz or glamour. It's not trying to compete with a bunch of the other high-end Colorado ski areas. It's got its own identity and its own brand and its own way of being Monarch. You know, I, I love the fact that that's where I, I bring my son to taught him how to ski and that's where he's gonna learn how to love the mountains. So I just sashay in, put my gear on, and go out and hop on the lift. I can get 8, 10, 12 runs in in two hours, pack it up, grab a cup of coffee, and go home. Go back to work.